It's not the dessert time. Manuel in Bakersfield, California. Manuel. Yes. Uh, how are you, Mr. Brad? How are you? Great, great. I just had a question. Um, my wife is here on a K-1 fiancé visa. We did get married already. We have not done the adjustment of status yet, but we are going to. Um, we found out that she's pregnant recently. Congratulations. Um, thank you very much. So my question is, is there any way we can get some kind of Medi-Cal, Medicaid, covered California? For, for the unborn child in her pregnancy, yes. For the unborn child and, and for and her pregnancy, her pregnancy yes. yes. After the child is born, she has 30 days to get off it. But you can keep it okay. for the child, unborn child. And you can keep it for the child after the child's born. Okay, perfect. So it will not mess up anything no. with her adjustment no. of status no. or getting a green card no. or whatever? No. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that's it. That was All right. perfect. All right. Good luck. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bubba in New York. Bubba. 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 Hello? Hi, Bubba. How are you doing? How are you? I'm fine. Um, um, I just want to ask two questions. Go ahead. Uh, the first question, I've been... I've been married since 2018 with an American citizen, you know? Thank you. Hello? I'm listening to you. What's your question? You've been married since 2018. And, You're a U.S. citizen. Yeah. And then after that, and uh, five months later, uh, before, before I applied my paper, I was arrested by undercover because I, I buy uh, Apple Watch from undercover. And then I get arrested, and they take me to the prison, but then I, they let me go 15 minutes later. And then they do, they do my fingerprint. I think after that, the immigration know I'm here. They send me overstay later. And then on that time, since I've been married a long time, uh, eight months after, but I don't apply for the paper. And then I apply for the petition. They approve it. They send me my uh, my social security and my work permit. And then right now, I'm supposed to go back. My last hiring day is uh, January 14, 2022. But... My wife, sometimes, every time we have, we have problems, sometimes she be like, like a jealousy, you know, all of that. She try, she try to, like, I want to know if she don't go to my hiring, what can, what can happen to me? Because she already texted me, um, I have all the proof on my phone. She, she told me if I, uh, because I get by a new, a new store, like, I have daily. Well, well you, have, you, have, put... you have three ways to, 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 to figure this one out. All right. And this goes with everybody. And basically, I hear what you're saying. What you said to me is you're in removal for a stupid thing you did with an app, you know, buying something from Apple. But that was resolved. But you're now in removal and your final hearing in removal is 2022 because the courts are completely backed up and you're having problems. Yeah, with your, I, and you're I, having problems with your wife now. So you don't know what will happen in 2022. And you have yeah. the same. I'll give you the same answer I give everybody every week who's having problems with their spouse. Figure out a way to stay married and keep her happy. Get, yeah, move, out, I, move out and file as an well, abused spouse if in fact you're abused, or get divorced and marry somebody else. Those are your three choices. There's no fourth alternative. I can file, I can file no, 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 wherever. You can file again. You and your wife show up jointly, prove it's a bona fide marriage. You file as an abused spouse. You get a yeah, because I have, I, I, I have, I have all the text messages. She told me she's going to kill me. She said if I don't put her name on my... All right, so, all right. so, so there's a lot of emotional abuse, a lot of threats, a lot of manipulation. That could turn into extreme emotional abuse. So hold on one mm. second. Sounds like you need a consultation. All right. Let's go to John in Somerset, Massachusetts. John. Hello. John, how are you? Good day, Brad. Uh, I got two questions for you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm a permanent resident. I'm, I'm planning to get married to my girlfriend soon as a maker. Uh, what document should I take with me? To get married? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever they need. You got to speak to the clerk who does the marriages in Jamaica what documents they need to get married. I don't know what, what the rules are for a marriage in Jamaica. If you're asking me what you need to file for your wife after you're married... 
you need your green card, you need your birth certificate, her birth certificate, your marriage certificate, and divorce decrees from prior spouses. Okay, so and how, how long does it take for, for me after filing until they're here? About two years. Okay, thank you. All right, you're very welcome. Let's go to Suyash in San Jose, California. Suyash. Hi, Brad. How are you? Um, I'm worried. Um, I, I recently received a um, request for additional evidence on my I-130 VAVA application. Uh-huh. Um, because of the nature of my marriage, um, I couldn't add her to the lease agreement. I tried to add her, but the application got denied. And um, so I submitted the copy of the rental form, which was filled by her, and also the electricity bills, which were on her name. So since I have an RFE and um, I do not have much more documents with me, I'm worrying. So. Well, I mean, you know, in the end, you can submit what you have to submit. You could always get affidavits from friends and family to acknowledge that they know it was a real, um, that it was a real marriage. Uh, and then, mm -hmm. you know, ultimately you'll, you'll get in, hopefully get an interview where you'll be able to, you know, give your testimony on why and how it was a real marriage and how come you don't have certain documents. Uh, but I would, okay. if you're light on the joint documents, then I would suggest affidavits from other people. Okay. Um, um, well, and, perhaps, um, can I and perhaps, you know, if you have a consultation with us off the air, we could talk about other things that you may or may not have that you didn't realize. Oh, I didn't realize I can use this. Sounds good. All right. So hold on one second. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.